Asus has always done something new and something exciting with their Zenfone series every year, but this year they seem to have gone berserk. If you don't know me yet, my name is Sid, and Asus yesterday launched two new smartphones Asus Zenfone 3 Zoom and Asus Zenfone AR. And in this video, I'll be telling you all you need to know about these smartphones and also be concluding it with my opinions about the same. But in case you are wondering whether this phone is worth your time or not, let me give you a spoiler in advance. The Asus Zenfone AR is the world's first smartphone with 8 GB of RAM on board. That's why I call them Berserk. So let me start by talking about the Asus Zenfone 3 Zoom first. The phone comes with a 5.5 inch Full HD display and it also packs in a full metal uni body which though only 8mm in girth packs in 5000mh of battery inside. Talking about power, the phone packs in a Snapdragon 625 processor coupled with 4GB of RAM. But that is not all what this phone is about at all. The suffix zoom is of course there to highlight the camera prowess of this Zen phone. It packs in a dual 12 megapixel camera, the second lens of which, just like an Apple iPhone 7 Plus, is capable of zooming up to 2.3 times closer to the object in focus. Apart from that, you get laser autofocus, you get phase detection autofocus, you get optical image stabilization, and you also have an f1.7 aperture lens, which by the way is akin to Samsung Galaxy S7's aperture, which currently is the largest aperture on any smartphone camera right now. So in totality, the phone packs in Samsung Galaxy's aperture and Apple iPhone's zoom capabilities, a combination which seems deadly if done correctly. And as for selfie enthusiasts, the 13 megapixel front camera seems more than sufficient. So that was Zenfone 3 Zoom and now let's talk about the Zenfone AR which for some of you guys might just be the real star. It packs in a 5.7 inch Quad HD Super AMOLED display which is similar in terms of specifications as a Samsung Galaxy Note which again is one of the best displays out there in the town right now. But I'm more of a fan of this phone's designing. Uh, it combines metal with leather, a material which I'm particularly very fond of because it does away with me needing a case for my smartphone. Also one more thing to notice that the fingerprint scanner on this phone is on the front, not on the back. Which again is a plus for me because I don't have to rotate my phone every time I need to unlock it. So in retrospect, the designing of this phone is rather nice. It's a well-built phone. Talking about performance, it runs on Android 7.0 Noga. And it also supports Daydream feature because it packs in a Snapdragon 821 CPU. The same one you would find on a Google Pixel, a Google Pixel XL or a OnePlus 3T. But it has more RAM than either of them. It has 8 GB of RAM, which is first of its kind and it is as much RAM as I find in my laptop. Uh, but having said that, there is also 6 GB RAM variant available along with multiple storage variants including 32 GB, 64 GB, 128 GB and also a 256 GB variant. And if that is not sufficient for you, you can still add in a micro SD card of up to 128 GB more. Uh, however, it's not yet clear what storage option would be available at what with what RAM variant, so we have to wait for that. But that's not what the smartphone is all about. The suffix AR is here to denote the optical prowess of the Zen phone. That sounds a bit repetitive. Maybe in terms of idea, but not at all in terms of implementation. The phone packs in a 23 megapixel rear camera whose USB is that it has depth and motion tracking sensors. You can now capture a third dimension which is depth. Uh, in very simple way, in very simple words, you can now measure distances with your smartphone camera and you can also uh, visualize whether a sofa will fit in your drawing room or not. And while it is true that Augmented Reality and Project Tango are in their initial stages right now, once they catch up and become more mainstream, they seem to be quite a promising feature. Apart from all this, the camera also packs in a phase detection autofocus along with the laser autofocus and a 4-axis optical image stabilization which by the way was first introduced in Xiaomi Mi 5 as far as I recall. But unlike a Zenfone 3 zoom, the front camera is reduced to 8 megapixels and the aperture for both the cameras is also set at f2.0. Talking about the battery, the phone packs in only a 3300mAh of cell and that is all you need to know about these new Zen phones. And now it is time for me to give you my opinions on these two smartphones. So I'll start first with the Zenfone 3 zoom. I like the phone. The phone seems to have a very promising camera, but for me the killer feature of the smartphone is going to be its battery. Asus Zenfone 3 had only 2600mAh of cell, but because it had a Snapdragon 625 CPU inside, it easily lasted for a day and a half with absolute ease. This smartphone on the other hand has a 5000mAh cell, but it still retains that same power efficient CPU, 
So in my opinion, the battery life on this smartphone is going to be terrific. The only thing that I feel is a bit iffy here is the designing of the smartphone. It tries to copy iPhone 7 Plus a bit too much and I think that the designing could have been a bit more unique so that this smartphone could stand out a bit. Turning now to the Asus Zenfone AR, my opinions get reversed. I do admire the smartphone for its designing. I think it's gonna be an eye candy. It looks a very beautiful phone. However, the two things I credit Asus Zenfone 3 Zoom for are absent on this one. I'm talking first about the cameras. Doing away with the dual camera setup, increasing the megapixel count and reducing the aperture of the smartphone won't give it the same optical prowess as the Zenfone 3 Zoom had. Yes, op augmented reality is a very futuristic thing to have. But the thing is, it is unfair to praise a thing of future in the present. As of now, for here and now in the present moment, I don't think augmented reality is a deal breaker or a show stealer. Basics need to be strong first right now, which now takes me to my second observation. 5.7 inch Quad HD display. A Snapdragon 821 CPU that is very powerful. To top it up, 8 GB of RAM. It's, in my opinion, a bit too much to pull for a 3300mAh cell. I wish Asus had a better, a bigger battery on the smartphone because if history is an indicator, this one is not going to be a long runner, at least in my opinion. However, I still credit Asus Zenfone AR for bringing in unique stuff like augmented reality to the smartphones and also being the first smartphone with 8GB of RAM. In my opinion, it would set standards for the phones of the futures which are going to come in the next year, in 2017. Uh, as for its availability, uh, Asus is pushing for the second quarter of 2017. So the phone should be available after March, April, May, June, one of those months. Uh, and its pricing as of now is not clear. There is no official word yet. But what you can do is you can leave me a comment in the comment box below telling me what according to you would be the best pricing for Asus Zenfone 3 Zoom and Asus Zenfone AR. But before you do that, do not forget to like and share this video and do not forget to stay subscribed to our channel. My name is Sid. Do come back for more. Ciao.